students ask me how to make bubbles that uh, go into the infants' mouths on our vinyl dolls, and I'm going to demo today as to how I do that. I use a product called Aileen's Paper Glaze, which you can buy from McPherson Arts and Crafts, and I'm going to give you just the little recipe that I normally use. I take the Aileen's Paper Glaze, and I'll take about a teaspoon. This is just a plastic teaspoon. You see it comes out quite thick. This is really too thick for making the bubbles in the mouths of the babes. So what I will do is I will put that into my little glass bowl here for mixing purposes. And I will add about 10 drops of water. And this is literally just water, nothing else. So we'll count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and what we're doing is we're just getting this down to a little bit more liquidier, but you still need a bit of thick consistency to hold that bubble when we get it to uh, form here. But it won't um, form a bubble until you do allow some of that water to make it just a little bit soupier. I want it soupier. Now that that's not bad. See how that runs off the spoon, but it still has a little bit thickness, not quite like honey, but uh, a little less than honey. But of course, it's not it's not watery as well. So this is what you the consistency you're looking for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my doll here, and I'm going to put a little bit of this solution into her mouth. So I'm just going to basically do that with my spoon. Hopefully, it won't drip all over here for this demo. So we'll put that in there. And we'll just, uh, just a drop I want in there. There we go. See how that drop just fits into the mouth. And then I have this little uh, mechanism here that has a squeegee on the end. And that's going to pump some air in there and it's going to make some bubbles. See here, I'm just waiting until that kind of drops into the mouth to give me a surface. I will try and get it underneath. bit of patience. Sometimes you have to do this a couple of times to make it work. And sometimes you can just leave it. I might just leave the two in there. I don't know. I'll try that. I might break them all, but that's the nature of the game. It's kind of little. See how we've got little bubbles coming in there off to the side there? That's why I'm thinking I might just leave that. Now this will um, kind of drip down this type of a lip if you happen to have a sucked in like that. So I'll try and clean off the edges, try not to hit the bubbles, or you just start all over again. Any other areas that you uh, see that where it hit, you want to get off to because it will leave too much of a, a shine there. This now will look like uh, the, the baby's got a little bit of saliva happening along with these little bubbles off to the edge here. Now when I go to leave it dry, I will try and balance the head. Usually if you take a towel, you can and make it that it's not going to move anywhere and then once you do that you leave it dry and usually it'll take about a oh I'd come back in about an hour and see sometimes the bubbles will break on you and that's the nature of the game um, and all you have to do is just wipe it out it'll just be tacky uh, wipe it out with a sponge and come back and do the same uh, technique I just showed you here and uh, Basically, just keep an eye on it. It should dry within about three or four hours for you. And they always say curing time, which is about overnight. And they should be pretty uh, sturdy for you after that point. Okay, so there's your little tip of the day.